So in the box you get the standard manuals and warranty information and a nice USB-C power brick complete with a USB-C cable which you can plug in to the USB-C port on the device to charge it and to power it when you need to run straight off the power. There is an internal lithium ion battery. And there's a menu button and an OK button on the front but otherwise no other buttons. The user interface is really quite simple. Um, you scroll through it using the menu button and then you hit the OK button when you want to dive into the screen a little deeper. The device supports linking into it using both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi speeds. And under software update you can check for updates and download them at, uh, at your discretion. And I like back on the home screen here where it shows you how much data you've used um, in case your plan is not unlimited you can get an idea of how much you're using. So out in the car for field testing we're going to power on the unit and then go into our mobile device and choose the network. And just pulling up speedtest.net in two different locations um, you can see the download speeds here on the screen. They aren't bad, they aren't great. And actually on the next part when I'm a little bit closer to civilization you can see the speeds are way better closing, approaching 9 or 10. So what does that actually look like? Let's open YouTube and see. So this is our review of the Vitamix food cycler. It's an indoor food recycler. And you can see it's a little slow to load the videos, but once they load, they come in pretty good. Connected device. The Snowjo cordless battery power. Not a lot of buffering. Snowblower is made of metal on the front. It has really. So now for the elephant in the room is really what does it cost? Um, in terms of my monthly bill, it went up about twenty dollars. So they had all these discounts and deals, and I asked and made sure they weren't going to expire in three or four months because I've seen that before. But it looks like all in all, I got the jetpack added to my plan with the unlimited plan, and it only went up about twenty bucks. So yeah, I have high hopes for this little device. It's easy to set up. It's small. It's very portable. Um, on the dislike side, the battery does seem to drain rather quickly, and it did have costs added to my plan, as you'd expect. In the end, it's like you're hitchhiking on cellular data. You don't know how far it'll take you, and you really hope that it's safe.